Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. Stay flying. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> you can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed?
What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way, the measles are over here. Oh, couple of knees or whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> oh, stupid thing. Oh. What in Merlin's name are you doing? Oh, tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone! <laughs> Her name is Persephone! <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. good egg when they see one, as do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good! You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the Savagers in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts? Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. 
You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least, that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you, I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. the weather we're having, don't you think? Where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Stand back. Magnificent. Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. What did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story. But I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again. And that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seems to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poacher's influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. 
Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Revelio.
Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. tasks I've given you, and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent, outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class. Summoner's Court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill, a test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. 
Brilliant. Summoner's Court, the ever-changing game. Nothing to it. Accio. Didn't think you were a match for me. Not bad. Not bad. Wait, did I win? I won! <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? I'm game for another round. Grand! You could use the practice. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Here. Try to beat that. Accio. Eh, lucky shot. Nothing to it. Missed the mark a bit on that one. All in the wrist. One for the ages. <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? I'm game for another round. Grand. You could use the practice. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. I hear. Try to beat that. That was one for the ages. Nothing to it.
I'll let you have that one. Well done. You beat me. Bit of good luck, that's all. Come now, Leander. There's no need for that. Fine, you're good. Better than I am, at least. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested and that you passed. Professor, what can you tell me about your work at the Ministry? Your curiosity is understandable. Well, although I can't speak in any detail of my work, I can tell you certain interesting facts. Unspeakables work in the Ministry's Department of Mysteries. Dangerous work at times, as you've no doubt guessed. Yes, Professor. Now, you needn't concern yourself with my injury. I made peace long ago with the fact that a sprig of Dittany, once plucked, will surely begin to wilt. You do seem to have come to terms with things rather well. It's a matter of perspective. Without saying more, perhaps whatever time I've lost was an exchange for time gained. And to dwell on such matters is a waste of the days ahead. At this point, no magic permits us to travel back in time. Perhaps one day. Yes, I can tell you that my years at the Ministry were well spent. And I'm as happy to be at Hogwarts now as I was to be in the Department of Mysteries years ago. If I may, Professor, I'm also happy that you're here at Hogwarts now. Kind of you to say. Speaking of time, perhaps yours would be best spent honing your defensive wand work. <laughs> yes, Professor. Revelio. Expelliarmus. Oh, my God. 
Incendio. Aquí es. Incendio. Rebellion. Incendio. Revelio. Rebellion. It's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. 
So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing whisbies is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Of course. You never know when you might need a quick means of escape from the castle. Brilliant, thank you. But you should know that it's not exactly quick. It's the secret bit that's helpful. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. Revelio. I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. Rebellion. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. Love you, sir.
This looks like the right statue. Now, what was the password? Descendium. Goodness, who knew this was all down here? Rebellion. A lift must be how I get down. Looks broken though. Repair. That seems to have done the trick. Rebellion. This castle will never cease to surprise me. Rebellion. I'm trapped. How am I supposed to get out of here?
this. Looks a bit broken. Perhaps I can try. Lumos. Let me also. Send Revelio. Huh. One more to go, and I'll make it across. Repairer. Lumos. Let me open. Something is getting in the way of that platform. Accio. Thank you. 